Hey, Jonathan Milligan here with the Get Productive Challenge from SimpleLifeHabits.com. Today, this video is all about how to get yourself motivated. You know, I'll be honest with you. Some mornings I wake up and I just don't feel very motivated. I'm not particularly excited. Uh, maybe I'm just not in the right frame of mind to take massive action and get the stuff done that I need to get done. But just because I don't feel like it doesn't mean that I can just not be productive. And so one of the things that's helped me out the most is actually thinking through a morning success routine. And so what we're going to be doing is um, really we're jumping into module four. If you've been a part of this Get Productive Challenge, let me just take two steps back for a second. Week or module one was all about getting organized, and we spent a week helping you get get some stuff cleared out from your physical environment, from the mental obstacles that you were facing, and we got you organized. Then we moved on to module two, at helping you really understand the laws and principles that are in effect that we cannot ignore. They, these are laws that um, we can't change. We have to accept them. And the sooner that we do, we can actually begin to use them to our advantage and begin to get more productive. Then module three, um, we spent several days helping you set up your systems. And specifically, we talked about keeping things simple. So we got everything set up with Evernote. We use Workflowy. It's a simple productivity tool online to kind of help keep you organized. And then what we're doing now is we're actually walking through an ideal day. And I'm going to start with in the morning. And I really want you to begin to think through these habits of how to get the stuff done. You know, it's fun to get things organized. It's it's fun to kind of set up systems. But if we don't actually use them and we're not moving forward, then it really all the other stuff doesn't matter. I mean, they're an important piece of the process. But at the end of the day, it's checking things off your list and accomplishing your goals that matter. So let's dive in. And module four, the first part I want to talk about is in the morning. I'm going to talk about it in this video and then in the next one, uh, I'm going to be talking about specifically what you need to do in the morning. So we're going to be talking about establishing a morning success routine. Now, I didn't want to itemize it and try to put you into a box because all of us are different. Different things get us motivated in different ways. I just want to share with you some things that have helped me. So in the morning, I'm trying to get started. I What I would recommend that you do is try to carve out, and maybe in the beginning it's just 15 minutes, but I would carve out 15 to 30 minutes in the morning as a way to kind of have a huddle with yourself. I know that may sound strange, but in sports, there's times where you just have to call a timeout, let's huddle, what play are we going to execute for the day? And what are we going, what is the strategy here? And so you're kind of having a mini huddle in the morning and kind of getting your mind engaged, excited, motivated, inspired to tackle the task for the day. So here's some things that you can do. First of all, take some time to express thanks. It's always great to say what is, because we sometimes we focus on what's not working in our life. It's good for you to stop for a minute and say, you know, what good is going on in my life right now? What's something I can be thankful for? Instead of just focusing on the no negative, what is going right? Are there relationships in my life that are important to me? Um, maybe think about the blessings of God in your life and how great he's been to you. I mean, whatever that is, I want you to just focus on maybe having a few minutes to express thanks. And you don't have to do all of these in your morning success routine, but just pick out a few. Read something inspirational. Maybe you can read a biography of someone's life and it can really inspire you. Uh, for me, it is reading a couple of chapters in the Bible. And I'm going through and actually going following a plan to read through the Bible in a year. And I'm really am motivated by it. And it's, it's um, exciting to see how the whole story fits together. 
And so it really helps me to get the big important picture in life. Maybe it's watching something inspirational. Here's an idea. Um, just Google um, inspirational YouTube videos. Most YouTube videos are 5 to 10 minutes long and average length. It doesn't take a lot of your time. But you can watch something truly inspirational that can motivate you and kind of get you in the right frame to take action. The other thing you can do is journal your discoveries. A lot of times we have things that are going on in our life and we don't slow down. Journaling for me is an opportunity to slow down and actually get stuff out of my head and see what's going on. Um, you know, a simple thing is we've already set up a workflow. You can just set up a journal inside there. Make a bullet point for today and use the note feature in Workflow and just type in what's, you know, kind of like brainstorming. Just type and get stuff out of your head and talk about the stuff you're struggling with or the things that you're facing right now. Whatever it is, just get it out there. Another thing that's great to do is just take a moment in the morning and review those 90-day goals. Remember we set those in Module 1 and even maybe look at your life plan. What are those areas of focus in your life that are important to you? I'm going to specifically talk to you about a technique that the book uh, 18 Minutes talks about that I do that's extremely helpful and that's going to be in the, the next video. But today I want you to think about what are some things that you can do. Maybe it's starting off just 15 minutes, maybe you stretch it out to 30 and figuring out a little bit of a routine of what you can do to get yourself inspired to really get in the right frame of mind before you just jump right into, our, into your work. Because a lot of times what happens to us is we wake up late, we're grumpy, we're, we're not so kind to our family members, we're heading out the door, we're racing, we're frustrated, we sit down at our desk and we have all these email messages that are being thrown at us and people stopping by our desk and our voicemail light is on and we just we just operate from chaos but establishing a morning success routine spending 15 to 30 minutes figuring out what to do in that time is can be a great help to getting you kind of focused on what you want to do you know what really helped me to get started is I um, Start, I actually bought a program from uh, Derek Franklin. It's something he put together called the Day Launcher System. You know, there's another product I bought of his that I've already referenced to and talked about before. It's the Action Machines, what I use to, for my focus sessions. And I'll be sharing that again here this in this module. But if you want a specific strategy, you know this is a good one. This is a his clarity map that he put together. And it's a routine that he just kind of runs through in the morning. So if you are the kind of person that you really need a step-by-step, -step, very logical, organized way to think through your morning success routine, then his program's great. And actually, as I'm recording this, he's offering the Day Launcher system packaged together with the uh, Action Machine software for just one price instead of uh, purchasing them separately, which I think I ended up purchasing them separately back a year ago. But um, it kind of walks through a little bit about what we talked about. Uh, you can see it says express your thanks here. Um, read something positive. Write your discoveries. We talked about journaling. This right here, we'll be talking specifically about this tomorrow. Now his is pretty detailed and mine that I have is I, I use more of a five minute kind of reviewing my targets, my primary targets, and that's going to be specifically using the um, 15, the 18 minutes book that I referenced. But doing these steps can really kind of get you in the right frame of mind and begin to help you get productive. And so I just want to encourage you to think through what's something simple that you can start with in the morning to help get your mind geared in the right direction to accomplish the goals that you want for the day.